lot of people on like LinkedIn or YouTube will tell you like the sugar-coated version. I'm gonna tell you what I truly looked for. On the hiring team, just for data analysis, we always looked for someone who had a good personality. I have seen it online, they're like, well, you know, as long as you have the right skills and you get in there and you smile, you know, that's a good, that's what you need to do. I always kind of gravitated towards people who are more outgoing. And is that 100% fair? No, I don't think so, but hiring, the hiring process isn't super fair. And so that's just like a brutal truth. The second thing we looked for is uh, uh, being able to articulate well their skills, abilities, and their experience. Well, here's the process that I would take to clean data. Here's how I do that in SQL. Here are, you know, here are the exact steps. That's what you need to be saying, and people would beat around the bush and wouldn't want to say things, and that was always a big red flag. And then the last thing that I think uh, we would look for is someone who is technically proficient. So mid-level analyst who, know, who has SQL on their resume for three years, this should be a no-brainer. Like, like it, this is like super simple, like, like just aggregating something with a group by. Nothing crazy, or just a, a simple join, just combine these two tables, and people would have trouble with it. And that was an immediate red flag, like we couldn't hire them. So those three things I would say are the biggest things that we looked for and like really ranked on during those interviews. But if I'm being like completely honest, the personality thing was like 50% of it.